come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Hey, thanks. Wherever you found us, thank you very much. Please give us a like, a uh, star rating, a review, something that uh, you know we can remember you by. Uh, you can also <laughs> get a hold in of memory that. of our <laughs> listeners. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something bad happened on to them on your deathbed. <laughs> Four stars. There you go. <laughs> uh, in memoriam. Uh, so we want to also invite you to uh, let us know how we're doing, or tell us what you think of these episodes or this one tonight. Mm-hmm. You can get a hold of us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. You can follow us on Twitter at Saturday freak show you can email us saturday night freak show at yahoo.com and you can follow us on instagram at saturday night freak show these are the internet radio superstars holly sean michaela and i'm colin and tonight we watch the movie that was chosen by michaela Michaela, what do we watch tonight? <laughs> we uh, we uh, we're starting summer of canon for the summer. Welcome, yeah! Officially started, officially started the summer of canon. Signs for of summer. Zima and canon. Oh, Zima. The Zima, is back. <laughs> Zima is flowing tonight, guys. Zima is Zima. flowing. Official, please sponsor us. Sponsor. No, please, please sponsor. Just for the please. summer, Zima. Yeah. Come on, yeah. yeah, Just a couple months. What's yeah. the bigs? Every week. What's the bigs? Do it. it I mean, Zima, honestly, it only comes around in the summer. It's on the summer time. Well, the past two years. Yeah. Wow. Before that, it was like twenty years. Yeah. Wow. Uh, we are kicking off Summer of Canon the same way we did last summer. How did we do it? Uh, last year we did Break In, and this year we did Break In 2 Electric Boogaloo. Obviously. <laughs> the obvious choice. <laughs> a sequel. Well, uh, thanks to you, Michaela, mm-hmm. you have now made Lucinda Dickey. You put her on the wall of fame. Oh my God, holy shit, she's oh, on the wall of fame now. Yay. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Was this the Welcome, third movie, Lucinda. Right? Yeah, Ninja 3. Yeah, Ninja, Ninja, Ninja 3. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. And those were also the only three canon movies she ever made. Is that the only wow, three yep. movies she ever made? Uh, I was no, say, what else is she made? Like. <laughs> What else is Lucinda Dickey? What else was she in? I don't even know. Don't know. Did we, did we talk about this? No. I don't think so. No. Sean, find out. I'm going to yeah. find out. All right, so have uh, you guys listened to our break-in episode? Uh, I'm talking to the guys in the room here. Have you listened to our break-in episode recently? I no. lived it, and it was amazing uh, when I lived it. So. I yeah. go back and listen to uh, like the highlights. I'm just like, oh, that was a good joke. Like, yeah. yeah. So you did listen to that one recently? I have, oh, yeah. I oh, okay. Because I haven't, uh, no. since I not lived the it. end, because yeah. I don't know if we recommended it or not. Yeah, I know. I can't remember. I, we probably did. I mean, I, I felt we... like the energy was good, so I want to say yes, but you never know with those things. Yeah. So. yeah. Just like, you we know. love the yeah. fun of watching it, but yeah. you should not. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like a sequel episode to our breaking episode. Yes. Basically. Which so, is an amazing episode. I mean, uh, from that I lived it. it. From no, when I lived it, was, it was great. I, so. we, I think we can all agree that was, that was one of the funnest episodes we ever did. Yeah, it holds it's up. Where Love it Rhombus so comes fun. from. Love, Love Rhombus. Rhombus. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I, I think I almost killed Michaela with that one. <laughs> that <laughs> she, was amazing. She chokes in the middle of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Well, you'll have to forgive us if we repeat some of the information that we uh, and it, we're going handed out. I mean, these movies came out in the same year, so it's still both yeah, 84? same year, yeah. Oh, okay. They were, I think, like eight months apart. Well, that was that was her so, entire film career. Yeah. yeah. Breaking Ninja 3 and then Breaking 2. And then the documentary a couple years ago, The Electric Boogaloo, The Wild Untold Story of Canon Films. I'm yeah. sure, because she was in that. She did Cheerleader Camp after this, mm. uh, Perry Mason, The Case of the Defiant Daughter. Oh. And before that, she was a girl greaser in Grease 2, and that's <gasps> wait, wait, it. Wait, wait. I'm wait, sorry. Hold on. Back, back, back the back fuck up. up. Oh, I said back some words. the fuck up. Well, because, okay, We've got a shared universe here because Christopher McDonald was in the first oh, break. Yes, he was Goose. Who was Goose in and Grease, Grease Two? Too. And have we talked about how obsessed I am with Grease Two? Because so, I am. So Breaking and Grease Two are like I don't think a shared it. universe. Oh, I love it. So yeah, much. <laughs> girl Greaser and Grease Two. Girl apparently. Greaser. Girl. Probably dancing oh, in the background she, somewhere in there. I want it. I kind of want to watch. I Grease think two she's again. at the it's bowling be, alley. I was going to say bowling alley. I think she's at the bowling alley. Who's that guy? Like who's that guy? I think so. Who's that guy? Yeah, it's got to be that part. Where did he come from? Yeah, because that's where like that's the only time there are other Greaser gangs around in that movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's did she right. go off to become like a professional dancer? I assume she was before this, but I'm assuming that's the only thing she could have done. Yeah, actually, afterwards, because 
mm-hmm. soundtrack, Miscellaneous Crew one. Mm-hmm. Well, she's just no, living nothing. the high life off it. that sweet, sweet breaking <laughs> money. If yeah. you, if you actually, um, if you watch the documentary about Canon Films, um, which is actually called Electric Boogaloo: The sure. Wild Untold Story of Canon Films. It? Yes, she's in it, Ooh. and she talks about how um, the first movie, like a lot of the tension between the actors in the movie was at very real life because she actually is a jazz dancer and a classically trained dancer and they were like, you're not from the streets. Like, that's how... So the, that's how the plot of the movie her, was, like, real. Yeah, they treated her like <laughs> shit, like, apparently. Like, so, <laughs> what? Yeah. Were they filmed... Were these two movies, were they filmed back-to-back or nope. was there a break in between? There was a... <laughs> was they, there a break in between? Oh, <laughs> drink, take a drink. A break in oh. between. There it is. Mm-hmm. The first one was one of Canon's most successful films ever because it was made for just over a million and did like fifty six million at the box office. It was a huge hit. Um, so they once made they that saw much that, money and they couldn't save the community center, center? The community no. center in this movie. I, no. I, oh um, and nineteen eighty four was actually the year of breakdance movies in mm-hmm. general. You had the break- only year of break. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. it came yeah. and went yeah. like that. It was over by the time Breaking Two the came month out. Yep. of Breaking of uh, which actually is, yeah. that's a question. Do you have that? What the, so the first one made fifty six yeah. or the second one? Made? Um, it did. Uh, I have it written down. Hold on. Oh, here we go. I've got a lot of notes. Sorry. Or smaller. It only did fifteen million. Yeah. Yeah. So much oh, smaller. The craze yeah. was over by the end of the summer. So in 1984 <laughs> alone, you had Break In, Break In Two, Beat Street, Body Rock, and Break Dance. Mm. All of them. All of them. And wall done. to wall breaking. <laughs> they killed, it. In they 1984. killed the genre. Yeah. Break, but breaking isn't it also known as Break Dance somewhere like overseas or something like that? I think so, title? but. There is another Maybe movie not. just called Breakdance. Breakdance. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. And Body Rock, if you guys have not seen that. What's Body that Rock? Gave, Lorenzo a, Lamas is... Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Another Grease connection. Wait, no. <laughs> oh, where, was, uh, where was Crush Groove? Uh, that one, I don't know. Was that a was that a Breakdance movie? Or? I can't remember. I don't know. We talked about know. it at length. Yeah, Crush Groove episode. and then Rapping. Rapping, which is Rappin'. the unofficial... Rappin'. Th- Third movie in this installment. Did anyone was, come back for it? Uh, no. It was supposed. It was supposed. Ice T did. Ice T's in it. Yeah. In it. Oh, He's the only one in all three of them. But it was supposed to be a break-in movie. But it ended up being so different that they just called it rapping instead. And Mario Van Peebles is the lead in it. Mm-hmm. And it's guys, it's not good. Like I thought about bringing it to the freak show, and I tried to watch it, and it's just very boring. Does he and, have a Jamaican accent? No, that and I'm he not just he in. he raps <laughs> off beat constantly. Like oh, he's God. really bad. Does like, he dance while he raps? No, oh, he just kind of like bobs around. What a horrible movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, Sounds like there's no energy at all. And well, you know how like colorful this movie was? Yeah. Like they Very took like colorful. all the color out yeah. of rapping. Like there's no color in it's that all movie. About it's the all words, man. Yeah. yeah. It's like fucking eight mile. <laughs> you know that like you know that like little dose of rap we got at the beginning of this movie? Yes. Okay, that's like imagine that being like the whole movie, because that's a rap. Seriously? Like. Yeah. But not nearly as interesting as that one segment was. It was eighties like rap too. Yeah, say, yeah. It's very slow uh-huh. and very like it was almost know. equivalent to top that from Teen Witch. Yeah. Which Mikhail and I have talked about mm-hmm. a lot. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, just just Google just, it. Just just watch just watch that scene. Because really. you'll get about twenty seconds in before you die of cringe. You will die. I got twenty seconds into this movie. I was just like, it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> it was break it was dance. A lot. It was a lot of break uh, dancing for Sean. What? In case you forgot where we were four months ago. <laughs> this is what we're all about. How much time has passed in the movie between the first one and this one? They don't establish. It's been at least a year, right? Because mm-hmm. her character, whose name I can't even remember now, Kelly, Kelly, Kelly Special Bennett. K, Special K, uh, damn it! They don't call right. her that I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's gone off and become a successful <laughs> Broadway dancer. She's a chorus line dancer. Yeah. Chorus line dancer, where she's making that sweet, sweet chorus line money, and then she comes back to the hood, the streets, where her pals. Well, I was going to say Shabadoo and Boogaloo uh, shrimp. shrimp. You got it. Oh, that's that's right. You got it. Yeah. yeah. You said them you all right. You yeah, but that's right. not right because their characters Ozone are, and Turbo. Ozone, Ozone and Turbo. Turbo yeah. are now working in a community center. But mm-hmm. still in a garage. Still but living still living in a garage. In a garage still yep. living in a garage. Now, well, what? they work at a community center. Well, I mean, from the, the beginning. <laughs> and by work, you mean volunteer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what, when yeah. he was like, well, you know, you're in between jobs. You want to come hang out here and help out? And I'm like, is this, is this a paying gig? No. Or is this like, you know, kind of, well, you don't have anything else to do. So come on and help the kids. So what dance. planet does this movie take place on? The planet Dance. The planet dance, mm. dance Tron, mm-hmm. dance a Tron. Why does everything have like Tron? Is it a robotic? Yeah. yeah, in the eighties because their club is Radio Tron. Radio Tron, Cybertron, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's all the Trons. 
Uh, so on Planet Dance, where every sure. single human being is a dancer, established yes. by oh. an amazing opening scene that's only rivaled by stuff like La La Land. Yeah. It's that's a, yeah. actually I'm making a, shit up I'm, here. No, no, <laughs> no, honestly, that is a really good comparison. Because yeah, La La Land's opening sequence is as ridiculous, if not more so. I, you know, like I, 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 I like La La Land. It's, I like it's, parts it's, it's of a good, it. It's a good movie. Whatever. I don't think it's the best picture, which you know. Yeah, it's it's I, a ridiculous yeah. movie. It's um, ridiculous. No, I know, but like I don't think it should have been nominated. It yeah. wasn't that good. Yeah. Um, but that opening scene is ridiculous, and it's I seriously yeah. think it is a fair comparison to the I beginning so of this movie, and it is as. Unrela- Actually, the opening sequence in La La Land is more unrelated to the rest of the movie than the opening sequence in this movie. Yeah. At least the opening sequence in this movie kind of makes sense with the rest of yeah. it. But I La know La La you were Land, joking, no. but I actually agree with that comparison. Yeah. No, it's actually an apt <laughs> comparison. Well, it's, you know, the infectious uh, groove that they're uh, dancing to. Uh, they end up wandering down the street and, like, attracting, uh, like, the lo- utility workers, the yeah. postal. Uh, <laughs> a cop. A cop. Yeah. Everybody start The car itself actually yep. starts. Uh, yep. Everybody's dancing. dancing. Oh yeah, yeah. I like what? Like had to be like what? Fifty people at least? <laughs> it was Something more like that. Than more than that, that, I thought. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. there was a people. lot of people. Yeah. At least a hundred people dancing down the streets as they march toward uh, miracle, miracles, miracles, miracles. Yep. Which is the headquarters? It sounds like a rehab facility. It does. I mean, it is, isn't it? I, there is a. I miracles think it's miracles. Rehab. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's it's the one in California. Isn't the one it? in Malibu. Yeah, is yeah it it's the one in Malibu. It might be. Yeah. Because okay, uh, there's remedies and passages, so miracle sounds like the next yeah, step in yeah. the name. You know, yeah. like better than yeah. one's miracles. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you a lost cause? Come to miracles. <laughs> Do you have a shit ton of money that you're not using? Come to miracles. <laughs> Want to be in a reality program that's probably going to destroy your life if the drugs don't? Come to miracles. Does that exist? Celebrity died, rehab, yeah, oh, celebrity, celebrity rehab. Yeah. Dr. Drew, all yeah. that shit. Yeah, exploiting people that are dying from their addiction. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. rest in peace, Jeff Conway. <laughs> yeah, we can say Jeff Conway. <laughs> yeah, comes to mind immediately. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, may he rest. That was hard to watch. It well, was this, hard to watch. This movie carries on a plot thread from the first movie, which is that Special K <laughs> and Ozone. <laughs> Have a on again, off again kind of some type. There's a romantic tension that you can cut with a knife mm-hmm. between mm-hmm. the two of these people. They haven't seen each other for so long, and it's like well, we're back together again. Where's that go? What, what what's going on in this movie with that? I don't know. And not don't much. Know. Not <laughs> much. I mean, you know, <laughs> she kiss, she kisses him at the beginning. Out. She does. And then like. Yeah. Other than that, he just has like his that arm is, around her. She really doesn't seem like she's into him. No. No. Maybe it's, he wasn't such a little I, bitch. Yeah. Do you think that's because like off screen he was telling her like, you ain't from the streets. You're just a fucking I don't, jazz was it, dancer. Was like, it because of behind the scenes or was it just that like they really didn't want that to be made known in the plot? I guess like not. was she just maybe not supposed to show any signs that she liked it? Well, here's the thing about canon because they don't wrap that up. They don't uh, wrap it up. We're waiting for Breaking yeah. Three to resolve that plot line. Yeah. Will they get together? I mean, you know. Yeah, she seems really clueless. Well, okay. Here's the thing about canon films: when they uh, he seems pretty clueless. Decided yeah. to make when they would decide to make a movie, they would have an artist design a poster. And then they would take that poster to foreign investors and say, this is the movie we're making. Give us money. And then they would take the money and make whatever movie they wanted, whether it related to that poster or not. Mm-hmm. And then um, a lot of times they would start filming without a script and make things up on the day. <laughs> so I honestly think that, that like that relationship never even crossed their mind because they were literally shooting day by day and making it up as they were going along. Well, this yeah. movie does actually give uh, Turbo a uh, love interest. Which was missing from the first movie. So this yeah. is his opportunity. Sure. Mm-hmm. There is a uh, saucy... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a Latina dancer and she is speaks she like five words the whole just, time. Just wanna... Well, that would be... No, would that be saucy? Spicy? <laughs> I was trying to back you away from this comparison. And then you went right into it. I was trying to give you some room there, but okay. okay. You tried Spicy. to put it in reverse, but he just right, slammed on the gas. Slam it on the gas. And then you were just like, no, give me that. So, yeah, so she's uh, she is a performer in a uh, um, we honestly know nothing about her because I don't even know what her character's name is like. Yeah, because of the conceit is she doesn't speak English and but they have this mutual attraction. Mm hmm. Mm, and they dance that, really good. The international language of love. Right, that goes beyond language. <laughs> yeah. And all that. Yep. 
Do they dance really good? This is the question that plagued us, I remember, on the first breaking episode that we did where yep. we were watching a shitload of break dancing and couldn't figure out what good break dancing was and what bad break dancing was. I'm still uh, I feel like, <laughs> I feel I think like, we've narrowed it down at least. Okay. I feel like Breaking Two has much better dancing than break than breaking. But yeah. is that because most of it is not break dancing? It's like group, yeah, like there's choreographed actual dancing. No, there's, dancing. But there, there's a lot of break dancing in this. Mm-hmm. A lot. Yeah. Like in the mm-hmm. first one, it was all weird and gyrating. In this one, they're actually like on the ground spinning around like they're actually break dancing. There were no dudes on crutches break dancing in this one. I will say that. <laughs> and there was in the Demerit. first one. Uh, there were, are, are you forgetting the hospital scene? Yeah. They threw you, their crutches yeah. away. That, you this got, guy, did, did you, this you, guy could not use his legs. Did I'm you sorry. not see the person <laughs> flip over the walker? You, yeah, there That's was there was a walker. But yeah, dancer. he had the use of his legs. The previous guy did not. Yeah. You remember that? I do. I do remember that. Flipping his fucking yeah. legs around. That was the best. Yeah, no, that one guy yeah. was the great. stopper. Yeah. Well, Same. I mean, these people come from a uh, place called Miracles. And when you're in a hospital and every so you get everybody dancing, of course, you know, people are just going to throw their fucking that canes was away. Surreal. Mm-hmm. That was I yeah, that saved. took that movie to a whole other level. <laughs> it yeah, well, you knew it was coming as soon as uh uh um, Turbo's girlfriend made the, her entrance into the scene from a closet. From a closet. Through <laughs> closet. Yep. I was just sleeping. Is that what she said? No, not no, at all. No, she, did, she didn't she speak. Did. She didn't speak English. Tom. She, yeah. well, she didn't speak English. So that actress actually like had spoken lines in this movie, but like she speaks so softly that none of them picked up on the mic when they were making the movie. Oh, so they just dubbed her in. Uh, sure, sure. So that does, so what? <laughs> they only did one take I don't know if of you're everything. This or not. Sure, yeah, sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just want to go, oh, no, no, por favor. Mi corazón es en fuego. Julio. <laughs> well, the first movie He's employs like, a magical <laughs> realism mm-hmm. uh, because of the uh, the, the, the amazing scene. Yep. <laughs> that the last Jedi knocked off from this movie? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. Coming at you, last Jedi. That's yeah. right. Stealing Clearly, from breaking. Ryan Johnson, we know what your influences <laughs> are. <laughs> it's like rope yep. and fucking breaking We are on to two. you, motherfucker. When I saw that in the theaters, I literally laughed out loud because I immediately thought of breaking and I was the only person that laughed in my you theater. You should have just sure, stood I'm up sure. and gone, breaking. That's breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all not see this? <laughs> just ruin that last part of the movie. Yo, yeah, Boogaloo Shrimp. That's it. Uh-huh. Boogaloo Shrimp did it first. You got nothing. Then I'm Boogaloo Shrimp. And then walk out. Well, he does an amazing uh, walk around the room. He dances on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. He does. He gets all over film. that room. Mm-hmm. I like yeah. this scene. That was pretty good. They used the same rotating room from A Nightmare on Elm Street. To I knew this. it. Mm-hmm. I knew it. It's the same year. Through. It's the same oh, yeah. year. Same year, yep. yeah, because it was built then probably. They also employed Johnny Depp's mom for I was the Nightmare on Elm yeah. Street. Why am I not surprised that Colin's only comments during this movie was the was the connection to Nightmare on Elm Street? <laughs> well, it's the only character that I recognize. I'm like, oh, well, aside from Ice-T, obviously, who sure. made it, mm-hmm. you know, and all the people from the first movie. Does anybody movie. think that Lucinda Dickey looks a lot like Candy Clark? If I knew who Candy Clark was. Yeah, I don't know who yeah. Candy Clark is. She was uh, Buffy's mom in the original Buffy the Vampire. Oh! Oh! She was um, in the blob. Oh, should I know kind her? Of, her she kind was in of. Man, man Who yeah. Fell to Earth. I do find her face to be very familiar, and I've never been able to figure it out. It's because she yeah. looks like Candy yeah. Clark. You've seen Candy. I mean, she talks like her, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I've always thought that, too, that she she looks very familiar. And you might be right, Colin. That that's why we've seen her before. I can see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can definitely see it. Yeah. Got, like, a similar nose and jawline. Mm-hmm. Mouth mm-hmm. structure. Yeah. Teeth, the whole, and the, the mouth she especially. sounds just like her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could have cast her as her daughter in something. Kind of. Sean is in, sure. not, in, not in agreement. Uh, the the famous the Menachem Golan of, of Canon Films uh, is obsessed with Fred Astaire. And that's why he wanted uh, Boogaloo Shrimp to dance uh, on the ceiling because he had seen it in a Fred Astaire sure. movie. It was like, sure. our movie's going to be just like that. So mm-hmm. do that's that. That's what people want. <laughs> yeah, is that so Fred Astaire did that? I'm, was that Singing in the Rain? I don't know what it was in, but I've seen Singing in the I'm not very really? well versed in my Fred Astaire filmography, so it's pretty good. Does he dance on the ceiling in there? I don't recall a ceiling dance. Yeah. But I mean, it could have. It's been a while since I saw it. Well, also borrowed from classic Hollywood is the plot to this movie. There is a plot to this movie, and it's not all Do dancing tell. all the time. Well, you have your evil, greedy corporate developer. Mm. Who wants to turn miracles into a shopping mall? 
And so how does the crew go about saving their uh, either uh, uh, dance dance hall mm-hmm. dance, dance studio well, fundraisers they, they dance they dance yeah, they put on a show well first they have a they, car wash and a lemonade yeah. sale because they need to re- raise two hundred thousand dollars to save the building from being condemned mm-hmm. like we so. talked about during the movie this is every sitcom of the uh, 90s well 80s. even before that this was on the fucking Brady Bunch yeah, yeah. well yeah. even before that it was in White Christmas yeah, yeah, it was. Yep. You're right. This, this movie employs every trope you've ever seen as far as like broad brush stories go like that. Basically. Mm-hmm. Bunch of sitcom writers on this shit. Mm-hmm. They didn't have to raise money to save something in the first movie? No. Did they? That was in all the last dragon? dragon? The first movie's all about the dance contest. Yeah. No, the and last dragon. together. The last, the last dragon, dragon was wasn't raising money. Yeah, there were, I think there were kids, but there wasn't. Uh, he was like teaching kids. Yeah. And fucking what's his name? Oh Jesus! Why, how am I forgetting? Ozone. His name? Bruce Leroy. No, the the other guy. Show enough. Show enough. Show enough. Show enough. Comes in as he's teaching kids. And yeah. He's like, he was the, sh- the oh, show the kind of Harlem. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. You know what? But that's the thing. Like when I was watching this and trying to think back to like moments from Breaking, I kept getting them like I'm like, wait a second, is that Breaking? Or was that the last dragon? Because yeah. I was hoping that somebody in this movie would like employ glow. the glow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, because clearly that's they. What I, that's what should happen. <laughs> you can dance the I want the dancing glow. Yeah. Like, I want someone to tap in to some form of dance that yeah. has never been tapped into before. Uh, yeah. Save this fucking place. Yeah. yeah. Uh, d- uh, would you say that dancing with a doll that is dressed like your girlfriend is not a type I mean, of dancing just, you've uh, seen before? That was just creepy. <laughs> And confusing. That was very, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, that felt made up on the day. And that went that went on way too long. Way, way too long. long. Well, because yeah, you have the song long. that you have to, you know, you the entire play, yeah, the whole three minute song. <laughs> What'd you think of the do soundtrack? Do you have to though? Do you well, have to play the whole song? I mean, no, I feel like you don't. I think so because they did it at the end of this movie. I'm like, all right, they played that it. song twice. They did. They played it at the beginning. Yeah, they did play that twice. Yeah. Well, we often make soundtrack discoveries here on this show where we have to rush out and go get the soundtrack the next day after we've seen the movie. One. Oh, I would. <laughs> I for sure would. Spoilers, Sean. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> if Mondo was like, we're doing break into on vinyl, I was like, fuck yeah, I'll I'm buy good. it. Sean, would you get it if it was breaking and break into on vinyl? <sighs> Combo pack. I'd have to watch Breaking Again. Too. I can't remember any of the songs. Would from you Breakin watch Breaking Again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, because you know what? The dancing was weirder. Yeah, break it. it was weirder. It was yes, weirder. I will and give I you that. I enjoyed the weird dancing. <laughs> There's a little more polish to this one. You're saying? I think so. Yes, and the scope the scope is so big in this one. I liked the smaller scope in the first break. And I kind of did too. Yeah. It made it weird. It's more realistic. There's yeah, so many, realistic so many the crane we're shots go with. in this movie. Like I started counting them, and then I just lost track because you know, it was so many cranes. There were more there was, close-ups on hand movements. There was, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, there yeah. was a moment where Colin pointed out that maybe it wasn't a crane shot; they, they were just standing on the rooftops. I and I started watching. I was like, you know, there are a lot of like so-called crane shots that I think may have just yeah, been from high up. Mimicking a crane shot. That's one dude like, holding onto another dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lift the camera up. Yeah, right. But they're still trying to get the feel of a crane shot. Yeah, because right. it's that, yeah. because they have a cast now. Yeah. Of, you know, several hundred people. That you know is the best right. way to show it off. Like, Every yeah. musical you've ever seen yep. employs that oh, same yeah. camera mm-hmm. movement. No, so at least well. it made years of TV based Absolutely, on that. but I was just curious if they perf- purposely picked places that had high up spots that they could do that. Probably. Mm. There was a, when they were, even they were going into like City Hall, they had yes. cameras up in the corners yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it was like in like the, the second level. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the same director as the first one? No, it's different. This is um Sam, Sam Furstenberg, who is yeah. a, a regular yeah. for Canon. He did Ninja, related Ninja to Ninja 3. Diane Furstenberg. Oh, okay. okay. N- no. Yeah. Um, he did Delta Force 3. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, the, so all the, si- all the cyborg <laughs> cop movies. Cyborg all cyborg four cop. <laughs> I don't There's know. I've never seen a yeah. cyborg cop movie. He did a lot uh, of like you look at his my filmography. You look at his IMDb. It's all like either canon movies or movies that sound like they would be canon movies. <laughs> sure, know, like, sure. That's everything. So. Yeah. Is, that, is cyborg cop a deficit in your filmography? Well, I've seen cyborg and I've seen cyborg too, I but I haven't in, seen cyborg cop. I ran into cyborg like three times this weekend. Did you? It <laughs> felt like it was a sign at one point. I'm like maybe I should buy this and watch it. Like, <laughs> I've seen this three times. It's, like it's a candy wait, film. You, it was so it on it? coming. No, no, no. It was it? like I was in like two different video stores. And oh, I was okay. Looking around, shit, and I'm like cyborg again. Yeah, all right, yeah. and like two, three different versions. It might of the be movie. a sign. No. Maybe. Yep. Hey, Colin. <laughs> Summer of Ken. Hey, anything's uh, possible. Shout Factory is just like, yeah, we'll mm-hmm. release it on Blu-ray. Uh huh. Yeah. Fuck all of you. They'll put That's, anything on Blu-ray. Yeah. 
That's why you've, you're seeing it because everybody's ditching their old one. Mm-hmm. Are we yeah. seeing the Shout Factory one? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, not at all. everybody's Everyone's ditching the, the old one. one. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. It's like I need to own this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that is like, is that Jean Claude Van Damme's most known canon film? No, probably Blood Kick, Sport. Blood, Blood Sport. Sport. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That one. That's what we watched, right? Blood Sport. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we watched Blood Sport. I forget. I'm like, we watched Kickboxer. Like, Blood Sport. Blood Sport. <laughs> Blood Sport. I mean, honestly, open. I have a hard time remembering what we watched last week. So if you can remember a year ago, no good for you. Yeah. you know? yeah. <laughs> or what we'll watch next week. Yeah, yeah. Don't remember that either. <laughs> we don't remember no, that at all. Uh. So please be specific in your mail. When you write to us, because we won't remember. Yeah, which movie yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I've, oh, yeah. I've had people message me, and they're like, I ah, just listened to this episode, and you guys said this. I'm like, we watched that? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks it's for an listening. experience, a journey, and adventure that we undertake here in the mm-hmm. basement every week. Right. It's like Christmas. It's a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the excitement oh, yeah. in his voice. <laughs> it's a new thing a every, every week. Every week. <laughs> watch. Um, <laughs> Please write into us. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all. We love what we do, and we love you <laughs> very much. D- did you guys like how Kelly's like snobby, rich white parents referred? Uh. To, like, did you notice they replaced like things that would be racial slurs with like street people? Yeah, like, they, they, oh, yeah, they clearly the like took all too. the racial stuff and crossed it out and just wrote like urban street yeah. people, like yeah. things like that. I did really appreciate the use of riffraff, though. <laughs> I like that one. I felt like somebody <laughs> should have been brand. wagging a finger, like, mm. Mm. yeah, yeah. I don't agree with this riffraff. Yep. I'm doing Conan now. <laughs> Kelly is, was she wealthy in the first movie? Was that established? We didn't know anything sudden, about her parents. Yeah, so. because now she's like, she comes from money. We we knew she was like, she was a jazz dancer, so mm. she's from a different world, was right. like the story. But she just had that sexual assaulter of a of a dance teacher. Yeah. And that was it. That was all we knew about her. And yeah, there was a weird boyfriend. sexual assault in the first yeah. one. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Gay yeah. cowboys dancing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. There was some shit in that movie. Yeah. We've been on quite dance the journey. Off in a alley? I don't think it was an alley. I think they it was at a beach. A, they went to there was a beach. There yeah. was also a, a like a boardwalk. A honky tonk. They went to a oh, honky yeah. tonk. Oh yeah, there I remember no the dancing. honky tonk. There yeah. was a honky yeah. tonk where there should have been dancing. Yeah, there should you have been line get... dancing versus street dancing. There uh-huh. should have been. Yep. Yeah, I know. Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity, yeah. absolutely. Well, you gotta get I think part of the thing that, you know, to be a breaking movie, you have to take Shabadoo and Boogaloo Shrimp out of their element and inter- yes. you know, make them fish out of water. I think so that's the best yeah. way to do it. And it would have been perfect in the honky tonk. At some point there is, you know, the people there for the the square dancing that are all of a sudden wearing street clothes and then Boogaloo's wearing like a cowboy hat like it would have been so perfect <laughs> they start switching clothes you know uh, what I mean I've got it so like one, yeah. one, one, yeah. one of them you know one of them goes up to the bar to get a drink right yeah. and they accidentally like bump into like some guy like, uh-huh. they're like you want to dance and they actually dance like, exactly then they actually like have a dance off yeah I don't let's write fucking break in three these and people, they start these people don't yeah. drink you don't think, or they're do gonna drugs go up, or have sex they're gonna go up to the bar to get their RC like we saw in the first movie they were drinking all the RC with the label out right because they're right. all, I mean, you know, I mean, these kids are like 18 years old. Uh-huh. I, Shabadoo seems he's more like he's like 33 <laughs> 30. years old. Yeah, They're all 30. Like I thought yeah. Turbo- Their mustaches betray them. I thought Boogaloo Shrimp might be his son, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a great twist at the end of this. It's like, son, what? <laughs> are Thanks, they supposed Dad. to be what? like 18? I don't know. I, I think I, they're supposed to be younger. Like they seem kids indeterminate. Are up, the, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> Sean's dying. He's dying. It's allergy season as we record this. He's yeah. sick. He's oh, you're ill. Sick. He's Uh-oh. ill. Oh dear God, and that means they're gonna get We're the lights all. Sick now. We're all God damn it! Sick. I'm pretty sure I'm on the downward part of it. <laughs> That's what they always Some say. The colds are the worst. Yeah, the contagious part's over. I promise. <laughs> yeah. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll still be able to dance next week. You'll be good. <laughs> um. There is a, a delightfully funny scene where uh, the two guys have to join Special K at dinner at her family's house. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. That scene actually was funnier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Once again, something you've seen in every sitcom. Yeah. The fish out of water people have to go dine with snooty rich people. Mm-hmm. Sure. That, like where they clearly don't know the manners and like. You and know, they were just eating like eating. bowls of pasta sauce. It was yeah. It was like red sauce with, with like prawns in it. Yeah. yeah. But what when the when the uh, so special K's got a fiance hitherto unmentioned in the the series. So I think that was her parents just trying to like. 
like stake everybody. their turf. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the parents are trying to be like, don't get any ideas because she's engaged when yeah. she really wasn't. Yeah. He's a lawyer, of course. More suited for her as far as uh, her <laughs> well, parents. Yeah. That's exactly how he laughed, too. That was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. So, but the the thing about this scene is like the, these guys like start sniffing him when yeah. he walks yeah. in. And that's like, what makes it funny. It's a power move. Is that what it is? I think it is because I think back, it's though. like, I th- yeah, I think it's like though, like an like alpha this dog. This is how dogs would greet each <laughs> yeah. other, and we're the alpha dogs in this situation. Well, it's, uh, I mean, that's my reading of it. I, don't know right. I, f- I feel like you're you're putting more meaning to it. Oh, than, I'm sure I than am. they did. <laughs> For all we know, it was a dance yeah. move. I just assume whenever I don't understand what's happening, that it's a power move and I'm falling for it. You know, <laughs> like I'm falling under it. Like, oh, I, this must be a power move because I don't get what's happening. You know, like, and it's working because I don't know what's happening. You know. Well, uh, speaking of power moves, mm. uh, oh. and oh. any break in oh. film, also you have to have at least one good break off mm-hmm. between our heroes and TKO the mm-hmm. evil. Electro electro rock. What was it? Electro, electro rock, rock. Yeah, electro rock. rock. This is yeah. the uh, the other. Uh, they were in the first one. Yep. I what we, were they? Yeah, they had that same car in the first one too. Were they I, the guys what? they fought at the end of the? Yeah, no. they fought them no. in the club. No, no because yeah. the guys that they fought are with them now. In the yeah, in the but group, the, aren't that they? same gang they fought though. Oh sure, yeah, yeah no, yeah, but the guys yeah. they fought before yeah. are now in their gang. Mm-hmm. But Electroshock still exists. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. Um, I think we just passed up Colin coining a phrase mm-hmm. uh, a little bit before a break off. <laughs> I believe that's what you said. I don't think yeah. we should pass that up without making mention of it. Sure. Yeah. A no. A break off. Yeah. A break off. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like it. Good job. So again. It's uh, like the Greaser. It's like the T Birds and the Scorpions in Greece. It's like yeah. this long time rivalry, and they're on our turf. And, yep. well, they West Side a, Story. They threw a spray yeah. can mm-hmm. through their window, and immediately uh, Ozone's like, <laughs> Electro Rock. Yeah. He knew it. He knew he it knew. right mm-hmm. off the bat. It's like, he knew. It's, it's their calling dastardly. card. <laughs> yeah. Throw a spray paint can yeah. through a window. That's what they do. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So you chase them down to under the, the overpass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then this Because they where... hang out under a bridge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's where you do battle. Yeah, yeah, where the battle ensues, which I think that one was scored by Ice-T. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it was. Yeah. He's narrating what's happening while yeah. you're watching yeah. it. It's, yeah. And thank God for that. Yeah. Otherwise, I would not know what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Because they're fighting with nunchucks and garbage can lids. Fighting. But are they? they? Yeah, but but okay. are they? They're like, okay, <laughs> I would say fighting. the fighting is on fighting par with the fighting in, in TMNT 2. The secret of the use. Oh, that no, I know yeah. what you're talking yeah, about. I know yeah. you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Do you guys yeah. not remember how they don't use a single weapon in that movie? I mean, they don't. Because there was backlash on the first one. Right. It was too right. violent for right. kids. So in the second one, they literally use like 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 sausage, you know, as like sure. and, and, and like uh, yo yo. Yeah, like it's it's Very all true. like jokey right. fighting. And so I was like, this just reminds <laughs> me of that. Uh huh. They just yeah. hop around and uh-huh. yeah. I mean, but it's, all, but it's never about the fighting. It's about the dancing. The mm-hmm. dancing is the fighting. So while they do have nunchucks and garbage. Can tops. Mm-hmm. There is no it's all for real show. contact. It's all for show. It's all for show. But this all has that amazing. Show. See, this is where the glow, <laughs> I think, could have been used. Right. Yeah. Or, employed. or at least yeah. like a hint of it at this point. Yeah. yeah. Because it's like, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa. Back off that with the power of that breakdance move. Yeah. That would have been Cause, better. Because Colin made an excellent point when we were watching. How do they know who's winning? And how do they know who the victor is? And we talked about that when we watched yeah. the first one. Is that, but I think we've come a little bit farther in our, our understanding is that it just seems like. Like when, like I have not. Okay, I have not. I I think I'm hypothesizing here. I I have not either. I think it's either when you run out of moves that like can't top the other one, or you just get like exhausted to the point where you for. It's a forfeit game, right? So it's just like an endurance test. No, I'm 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 with you on on the theory that I I think it's when you see when when they see someone. Do a dance move when they see some dope ass. Shit. Yeah, when they yeah. see when they do, see some dope ass. Like, when, they're, when, they're, when they're like, "Wow, they're that's like, really top good." That. Top that. <laughs> like that's a really good move. I can't do any better than yeah. that. You win. There it is. Mm-hmm. That's that's legit. And they run away in shame. Yeah, yep. that's how. And then drop the mm-hmm. drop, drop the spray paint spray can in the, in the garbage, garbage can. Which I don't really know what that meant. <laughs> it, it's it's no, a it's forfeit. Mic drop. It's a forfeit. Yeah. So just yeah. like you win. It's symbolic. You only mic drop if you win. It's it's not. What he's saying is like electro rock, like. We're out. TKO. No, TKO. Oh, that was yeah, what they TKO. Said, yeah. Go back to the. It's like Ninja Vanish. It's to yeah. go back to the. <laughs> 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 yeah. Because they won and yeah. they left. Yeah. 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 
it but is. it's a positive planet that they're on because I mean, instead of pulling out, you know, like uh, weapons or anything, it's like basically like your dance moves are clearly better than mine. Well, they did. But I'll be back once I train next time, little... gadget. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll get you next time, gadget. They Which... did. They did technically pull out weapons, but very, there were everybody had nunchucks out of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah, and until they got wonderful. they got taken away by the other team that would in a move that was they just threw kind them in the of garbage. Like, threw them in the garbage. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. Because they're all trash. And then they look around at their hands like, "Whoa, where'd my nunchucks go?" Mm-hmm. It was a fantastic and they just moment. Into hand movements, like. mm-hmm. which is why I propose that there is a movie idea here where you take like a modern. Well, I suppose gangster rap is already like uh, passe, right? But uh, like a modern uh, street gangster who <laughs> gets into a hot tub and. Like, ends up going back in time to 1985. He goes into a hot tub time machine? Is that what Colin. you're saying? Okay, we'll come up with something. We've seen Colin. that movie, and it's terrible. Colin. We just want to get him back into the era of But you specifically mentioned a hot tub time machine. Well, I just to, need a time machine. Are you trying to advertise our back catalog, Colin? Or I think it is a phone booth. <laughs> or a, phone a DeLorean. Booth. Yeah. Or a DeLorean. Yeah. I mean, just putting ideas out. Or a time machine. Or, no, yeah. it would probably be. Would what, it be? Would like they have a quantum a, leap? The thing they stepped uh, on, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just them. yeah. Yeah, it's the magic uh, uh, scratch turntable. There you go. You spin right. it backwards and takes you back in time. Takes you back there in you time. Like, like, like the, ne- like the necklace in capture. Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, like a time turner. Yes, yeah, but yeah. it's like it's a time turntable. Oh, time turntable. Turn there it is. Yes. There it is. Right on that, John. Uh, to there it is. Is that for sure? Time turntable. <laughs> is it the table or the specific record? Uh, the record, uh, whatever year the record came out, that's when you go back to. That's brilliant. so you can't go back further than that's records. Nope. but it's nope, a lost, it's, limited. it's wow. a lost like scratch record, right? From that you know, unless been, you get those like beeswax ones, you know, that, like yeah. Can, but can someone make a? Does it have to be something that was produced in that year? Can I make a, a record of something that came out in 1974? Do I get to go back to 1974? I would, yeah, I would say or like did, whatever did it have year to be it was made originally, in that year? Or whatever year the music was originally yeah, released I think, in, okay, I would yeah. say that probably. Okay. So. Oh yeah, well, I like this idea. This, oh, yeah. is, this yeah. is a good idea. <laughs> this is a comedy. <laughs> we're saying, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah. Where you see this, like yeah. straight yeah. drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where you get the guys from straight you have out to of comedy to go in back a specific to, way. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I love this. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Suck it, vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> we came up with a better show. <laughs> yeah, well, that probably lasts longer. Nobody than watches that, right? Bitches. That's just <laughs> Has anyone ever seen an episode of Vinyl? Okay, you've first, seen yeah. the pilot. Yeah, yeah. Right. it was as far as that. Yeah, yep. It's over now, right? I think so. I think yeah. so, yeah. They canceled it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gone. That was totally an example of like a bunch of old white dudes being like, what do kids like? Oh, they're into vinyl again? Into vinyl. Let's make a show about it. We'll show them the origins of. Well, it wasn't that weird. Uh, when music was good, <laughs> that was exactly like the kind of thought there behind it for yeah. sure. Yeah. Martin Scorsese, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Andrew yeah. Dice Clay is really good in that show. Hmm. So no one Bobby, has said uh, that for a long time. time. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was in uh, uh, the last episode, the last season of uh, Hap and Leonard too. But mm-hmm. he, was he was a lot more serious in mm-hmm. vinyl. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, well, okay, so break. <laughs> Sorry, back to breaking too. Oh God, this could have used Andrew Dice Clay. Electric Boogaloo. This is one of maybe the greatest movie titles in all of. I mean, it's just what, judging by its history and where it has gone since then, yeah, it, it, everyone's I mean, it's, co-opted. No, it, yeah. it's it's become such a pop culture reference now. Like people don't even know what it means. They just know that no. Electric Boogaloo is a thing. Yeah. They don't know where it came they from. Just know they just know nothing thing. about it. Yeah, yeah. no idea. Any, Any sequel is whatever. Yeah. Electric yeah. Boogaloo. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I guarantee absolutely. ninety. Of the people that say that don't know where it's from or what it means. Yeah, just because I a- did it for years yeah. not knowing where it came yeah. from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That was always the joke. And then it's like, oh, it comes from this movie breaking. Yeah. People heard it on like fucking Family Guy and shit and they thought it was funny and ran yeah. from there. Even It's Always Sunny yeah. in Philadelphia, the most recent season had a had an episode called Charlie McD- McDennis 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yep. Mm. There's, it's been, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. TV, yeah. movies, mu- like, what was that band? Was it Five Iron Frenzy? Had like yes. an album called Electric Boogaloo, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's everywhere. everywhere. So it's either the greatest movie title or the worst that everybody riffs on it. I mean, I mean, I, it it depends what year you're in. Yeah. <laughs> like, it goes from greatest to worst. Like, I think it's held both titles at this mm-hmm. point. Yeah. I think it's genius. Yeah, to be honest, I think it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. It rhymes. Yeah, the rhyme That's scheme is wonderful. nice. Two electric boogaloo. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I love it. It's genius. Yeah. It rolls off perfect. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. I just taste it. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Roll it around. Just taste it a little bit. Just taste it. See just if you like it. Yeah, just, see right. if you like it. You know what this movie is missing? 
Jean Claude Van called? Damme. I know, it no really JCBD in this. Had, yeah. In a singlet. He, as he, was in the he first overdid one. it in the first one. They were going to cut him out in the first one if he didn't chill the fuck out. So yeah. that man does not know yeah. how to chill the fuck out. No, <laughs> no, he doesn't. That man is he blind. Does not. With his he has eyes one open. speed. That's there's one man that's not Wait, chill. Is that the Jason one where Gideon. he uh, like pissed somebody off? Or there's... he wouldn't stop jumping in the shot. He kept jumping yeah. up and down. It's very so that, like, animated in the background shot. And so they were like, "You have to stop moving, and we're going to cut you." So he's just like standing with his like his arms crossed, but he's nodding and like yeah, bobbing oh, yeah. the whole time, and like he's like standing like maybe like. A foot forward from the rest of the crowd and mm-hmm. right behind the primary actors all the whole time. He stands so you can see him out. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's just an, an extra oh, yeah. in the first movie. Mm-hmm. But, yep. His yeah. first on screen appearance. Oh, he's, ever. he's definitely extra in the first yes. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody just sent us the uh, the gif of that. I mean, it's never going to die. Yeah. You got you to look this up. It's, mm-hmm. it's an amazing, uh, mm-hmm. touched performance mm-hmm. by uh, Jean Claude Van Damme. So breaking two, we have the fight between the uh, the two rival breaking teams mm-hmm. uh, on planet. What did we say it was? Rocketron. Planet Dance. Pr- planet Dancetron, mm-hmm. where the primary <laughs> colors are pastel and like neon. Yeah, <laughs> it's neon. like pastel and neon at the same yeah, time. It's, it's weird. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's because movies were in it's color in the nineteen eighties. Yeah. They're like, look at all these. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I mean, everything, like, it is like Easter on crack. It really is. It's like Easter colors, but like Easter, they're full, like floor to they're, ceiling Easter colors. They're fluorescent, is what they yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. Mm, fluorescent. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. And a lot of Michael Jackson styling, so all over the place. So much, coats so and much. Jackets and the moonwalk. We should talk about the the you know like fourth lead of this movie, the handcuff belt. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It's in more shots than it most of the doesn't actors. Matter who. What yeah, no. It, it is. They it moves wear from it moves from person to person. Belt. Yeah, there's a belt. Yeah, it's handcuffs in the front, and like a like studded your typical scene kid yeah. stud studded belt that I yeah. have like twenty of in the back. And but like, what did those end up, Michaela? I still have a couple of them. A lot of them broke. Honestly, <laughs> just out of, just, uh, they just break. Yeah, over they time. break. Uh, or like the studs rip enough holes in your shirts that you just stop wearing them. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still have some Got shirts it. I'll wear nowadays. I'm like, what the? F-? I'm like, oh <laughs> shit, that's from when oh, I used to wear studded scene. belts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but it's Lucinda Dickey wears it with two different outfits, and then we see Ozone wearing it with yeah. at least mm-hmm. two different outfits. I think this handcuff belt is in almost every scene in this movie. It's insane. I think it needs to be brought back. I think, f- we, I think group Halloween costume is being called for here. Ooh. I think so. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. So if nothing else, I just want to see what Colin. Let's do <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. Which one am I? I was gonna say, so one. Of- you can be whatever you want. Shabadoo, <laughs> Turbo, honey. You can be whatever. You, you can want. be the stuffy old uh, businessman if you want. Even just wear a suit. Thank you very much. There you go. <laughs> and the the powdered white wig. Yeah, Wait, yeah basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, the villain in this movie is like the, the cartoon, like dastardly, you know, mustache mm-hmm. twirly. If he had one, villain, right? Mm-hmm. He wants to Fake tear teeth. the thing down. Oh, those first. teeth! Those teeth! Those teeth. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> For, <laughs> he's got horse teeth. He's like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Those those they caps. Take up a lot of space in his mouth. This no, is why those, we need to have fucking, cameras and do this show. Those live. fucking caps have caps. Like caps on caps on caps. <laughs> it's because he's rich and he can afford caps on <laughs> caps on caps. And you, you know, they don't fit because his mouth is open all the time. And that's what you do when you don't have the right size yeah. teeth in your mouth. Is you, or you have fresh veneers, you keep your mouth open all the time. Yeah. That glue is drying. I was confused by how <laughs> our heroes beat this dastardly bastard because they're supposed to raise $250,000. $200,000. Oh, sorry. $200,000 to keep the building. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so Duder goes to the city council, gets approval uh, or gets a bid on the land, and then brings the bulldozers to take it down. And I mean, this I is lo- how you know this. he's a soulless son of a bitch because he's like, I don't care if that kid's there, just run him over. Because kill him. Yeah. we're not here to kill kids. We're out. <laughs> <laughs> that was that dude. That's that the bulldozer good. driver. I always yeah. love this this kind of trope for these movies where the bulldozers show up just to knock shit down. Like another sitcom trope. Someone chains himself is. to a tree that needs to be saved. Not not <laughs> like people would have to inspect this building to make sure yeah. there's not some vagrant sleeping yeah. in there before yeah. they knock well, it down. Not but no, on just like, planet dance knock it down. Yeah. This is a different planet. The cops are never involved in this. Are there uh, police officers? Or there's the dancing police at officer. At the beginning, that's it. it. That's yeah. it. That's all we got. Yeah. Nobody kicks the uh, squatters out. Well, they're not. Are they squatting? No, because the one guy says like they're the they legal tenants. Legal in that tenants. Bin, building, well, they, but so. they also said the city owns it. But I, I assume it's a lease situation. So, Whatever. Like, Who knows how things it, yeah. the economy works on Planet Dance Truck? 
So the bulldozers show up. I love that you keep going. With this. Yeah, you're there, <laughs> man. Not give me enough. You are you are on the planet. Spirit. Once you lock on to something, going. you just yeah. Uh, so the news media shows up. The news media. And the the guy does some editorializing, which I also love the fact that he was like, "Oh, it's great that these kids are going to keep their you know building." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But they basically, correct me if I'm wrong, it's through public shaming. Basically. That they get the guy to back out of his... uh, Which is actually super prescient. That's what happens now in internet culture. Yeah. Like, call-out culture is... We're all living in right now. We're the peak of public shaming at this point. Yeah, it's it's effective. (laughs) They just did a free internet. Yeah. Yeah. And they're just like, we're sorry. Mm -hmm. So apparently he didn't really want his mall. I don't know. Some, well, he didn't they believe in it. They shamed him into giving it up and yeah. also donating money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they got everything they wanted out of mm-hmm. this guy. Well, because well, they, they public, well, what happened was they public shamed the, the attorney guy because he was like, yeah, we can't fucking do this because it's an election year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's like, so I don't have city funding or city backing. And he's like, nope. He's like, well, I don't have any fucking choice. I got to back out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't kick kids out of their place on public on TV. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's not TV. a good PR Especially move. not nah. poor minority kids in an election year. Yeah. See, absolutely. I have an alternate idea. I, I think that idea is going there. away now. They're pretty much just doing it. But. I digress. <laughs> it's very possible that the music was playing at this time when all this was happening, and that as, since they were there on the scene, uh, the music uh, made him. In effect. I, I mean, that's mind. how this, these movies work. So that's a, I wouldn't that's be as surprised. good a reason yeah. as any. Yep. Well, because there's you can't a stop the music. There's a precedent for this because. Uh, her parents are watching the news because they've never actually seen her <laughs> do any of these uh, street dancing thing. They want her to go off to Princeton. I think this is their first time watching the news. That's right. Possibly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, what's this program on television? It, it might be their first time watching TV. I was going to say, I got you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like one of those one. little, yeah. Like those little portable ones. Yeah. Just to test it out before you commit and actually yeah. buy the bigger TV. Yeah. yeah. With the, the three big lights. Sure. With right, the projection. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? The red. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. The right. red, blue, and okay. So uh, they Explain see to us <laughs> old TV columns. old well <laughs> tubes and whatnot. Who had those projector TVs? Like no one, right? I'm starting okay. to think you did. So. I didn't have one. So, uh, but they what they do is they turn the channel and see on the news their daughter dancing uh, uh, at this uh, this event. Mm. And I think hearing the music through the television, because they have a pretty much like right then and there, like, we've been all wrong, honey, trying to get our daughter to do something she doesn't want to do. That was all it took. Clearly, this is what she, we should get down there and save this building, and donate our money. Not their daughter telling them that it's like, this is what, uh, this means a lot to me. This is what I do. Even though she had said that a million times. Yeah, but yeah. she that, that wasn't nothing. playing the music. Mm-hmm. That's very true. It's got to be the power of music, right? I'm thinking. And seeing the dance. They saw the dance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, once you actually see the dance, it's the power of they, the... Right. Mm-hmm. I don't think they'd seen the dance before. Mm-hmm. Mm. That may have put them over the, mm. the edge. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie agrees. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like, I'm out of a leg here. I don't know. Do I have a leg to stand on? I, I mean, it's as good... Anything's possible in these movies, so Anything's sure, why not? Possible. You know, like... Well, the disappointing thing, the thing I really wanted to see was since we had just had the uh, dance-off between... Because we understand an on-planet dance drawn. This is how the differences <laughs> are settled between people is the dance... You challenge someone to a dance-off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just happened with uh, ro- Electro Rock. Mm-hmm. So then... Uh, the uh, evil developer shows up on the land and Shabadoo walks up to him and I'm like, this is where it's going to happen. He's going to challenge him to a dance-off. Right here, right now. And there was a moment where he made a move for him and I'm like, this is where it's going to break out. And like, mm. it but didn't Shabadoo's still a little bitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that yeah. why? Yeah. That's why yeah. he didn't have yeah, the... He's been a little bitch his chi was off or something and he couldn't yeah. actually muster the... You can't go to Paris. He's such a bitch. He's such a yeah. bitch. Yeah. Just like when he went and pouted at the beach in God, the first what a movie. Yeah. Powder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This uh. is not good. So who's your favorite hero then? It's gotta be Turbo. I mean, I mean, I mean he I, does like he gets in, injured. He's got a broken leg. I was gonna say, and a we should backtrack arm. to how that happened because you <laughs> lost your goddamn mind at this part. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is an important part of the movie we need to talk about. I mean, 
So what? What was it? He uh, stole the toolbox. He, he stole remember? the toolbox. Yeah, actually, I think it was like, a lunchbox. I got box. your lunchbox. It was a well, lunchbox. I mean, he called it a lunchbox, and maybe it was. I don't know. We don't know. And the workers is. that were so there. So Boogaloo the Shrimp takes the workers that are surveying the land for when they can bulldoze it. He takes their lunchbox, toolbox, a fucking box of theirs. Yeah. Runs away with it. Where we get my one of my favorite actors of the entire movie, the pug that is definitely oh, not yes. supposed to be in this scene. <laughs> yeah. Um, this the is our pug second takes off. <laughs> this is our second week in a row of a rogue dog making it into it's a movie. Wonderful. I love. It. I this love it. Pug just comes tearing out of nowhere during this crane shot and chases him up the street while he's running it's away with fantastic. the lunchbox. Yeah, fantastic. shit up. And then he falls down a big flight of outdoor Very stairs. Large cement, stairs. like big cement. It's like yeah. the yeah. stairs. stairs only yeah. 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 yeah, but like it's, curves in them. Yeah. It's like the surf ninja stairs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and he, uh, but, but what is. Those are big stairs. What is Those interesting about stairs. this fall, though, Sean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That, all right, so how old would we say Boogaloo Shrimp is? Like 19, maybe? Let's, let's say 19. He yeah. looks 19. young. He looks very young. So he starts to fall down these stairs, and then he turns into a 52-year-old man. <laughs> That's like twice his size. Yeah. Let's, huge. Like, you guys know what, Bo- what Boogaloo Shrimp looks like? Picture um, Uncle Phil from The Fresh Prince is yeah. falling down the stairs. Like Craig Robinson. <laughs> yeah. He's like Craig the Robinson. The giant black man. Yeah, very noticeable that very they noticeable. to a stunt person. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to say in quotes. Mm. <laughs> I think they threw an old man down the stairs. <laughs> Pretty sure. Not. Doesn't match at all. Not <laughs> at <laughs> all. Especially because Boogaloo Shrimp's very, like, petite. Like, he's a small yeah. dude. Petite, His, even, it's yeah. just the hair. Yeah. There's gotta it's be in, stunt it's, men that it's you in the fucking, double that, man. It's in right. the fucking name. He's a shrimp. Yeah. He's little. Yeah. Yeah. He's a small person. Yeah. And he has specific hair. Yeah. The hair is what threw me off. Yeah. First of all. Because that dude was bald, right? That dude had very short hair. Short very hair. cropped yeah. hair. Very, very cropped. And that jacket did not fit him. No. I was very upset with that. They did, sure it looked like it was coming off as he was rolling down. Yeah, they, they did not give him his own costume. They're no. like, take that off and put it on him. Right, yeah. They, yeah, they just, yeah. Well, we need another one so we can upsize it for this. They're like, nope, you get, nope, you get one. No, put you it wear, on him. Wear his. Get those pants on and fall down those fucking stairs. Yep. Uh-huh. But this, as if you thought that was not the most baffling scene in the movie, it leads to probably the most baffling scene in the whole movie. Uh, yeah. Boogaloo Shrimp's hospital. in jail, or in, in jail. He's in the <laughs> hospital. I was thinking back to the first one. Off. Where they get th- threatened to be arrested, right. but uh, he's in hos- the hospital, and that's when girlfriend, unnamed comes girlfriend, comes out of the closet. Yeah, and then they start break dancing, and everyone in the hospital it. starts like the nur- the candy striper nurses start. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, it's, the a candy gr- it's a group mm-hmm. dance. It's a group yeah. dance. That People bring in walkers a man and wheelchairs back from the dead. L- back from the dead, Colin. Yeah. <laughs> The surgeons in mid surgery start break dancing. Yep. It is you gotta see start it. gyrating. Yep. They're like it's passing scalpels. A lot scalp- of gyration. <laughs> they're like passing scalpels to each other and like popping right. and locking while they're doing it. Yeah. This it's, brings us it's to something. This is what happens every time someone goes it's under something. the knife. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. Probably. Oh, I mean, God. scrubs would saying, lead you to believe uh, that. That's very true. You know what? I was going to say, when we were watching this, very do, you, do you guys remember, I don't know if you watched Scrubs, but yeah. the episode... i you open. No, the episode, <laughs> the episode when Turk downloads Bye 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 for his new ringtone, and they all start dancing every time it rings. No. That's exactly what it reminded me of. I was thinking about the one where he was he is going to get to perform the surgery on JD when I think he has like his appendix. I think yes. So, yeah. uh, and yes. he comes into his room break dancing and like... I'm going to cut you up. Uh, moonwalking yeah. backwards saying, I'm going to cut you open. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, Scrubs maybe is not that far off. Like I feel well, like no, I feel not. like someone watched this movie stoned yeah. and they're like, I've got an idea for a show, yeah. <laughs> and then that, that's how Scrubs was born. I was saying the, the 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 spooky version of that is just today. I read there was a uh, uh, doctor who was fired because while she was like operating on people, she was recording herself like dancing. Oh God! Yeah. It's in the news today. You can actually look it up. And she was fired. Uh, oh, oh it was her like <laughs> did, do you license revoked? Do you recall like, where so. this was, Colin? Uh, feels like it was like no. For, Florida. <laughs> it like was Florida, probably Florida. Like for some reason, it's Nashville, or it could have been Georgia, Florida somewhere. Yeah, yeah. probably right. Florida, Florida, but f- Southern, going fairly, southern. We're fairly we're far away southern. from us. Uh, yeah, I think you're okay. Safe. All right, because it's far away. Just oh, checking. It does not mean it cannot happen to you. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Some of our listeners yeah. oh, are Jesus. probably in the hot zone. Jesus. It might have been your doctor. If it was, right into us. Why not? Please tell oh, please us about yeah. it. I'm very curious. <laughs> like to know. I have a lot of questions. If your doctor fucked you up, we want to hear about it. Let us know. Tell us your malpractice stories, please. Want to write it about? Yeah, why not? We're here yeah. to listen. That's yeah. what we do. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Colin. Yeah. You listen to us. We listen to you. Yeah. It's tradesies. Tradesies. Yeah. 
Uh, so where do we get to? Hospital. hospital? All right, hospital. but he breaks out of the hospital. Yes. Yeah. At some point, through the yeah. power yeah. of his break dancing, through the power of his oversized sock over his cast, yep. he gets out of the hospital and he's decided because he's, he's got to get back to Miracle to yeah. save the day. I don't belong here. I belong on the stage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he gets there. Just Can't contain like this the bulldozers magic. are coming up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The entire crowd is wearing Pepsi hats. Saves the day. He does. Is he really that a strange saves thing on day. planet dance Uh I mean, it's strange considering the first movie was RC. Oh, shit. So well, in a short amount a of time, they but like, this is a matter of months. <laughs> right, but they're like, they're we upgrading. made 54 million in this yeah, movie. Yeah, so maybe he's like, Pepsi, let me get in on that. I have a theory. get in on this sequel. <laughs> I have a theory about that. I feel like maybe, you know, they're in a poor area and they grew up with RC and she's like, I'm here now. I'm going to introduce you to Pepsi. You don't know. Are you saying you Pepsi is the cola of gentrification? Yes. It was the choice of a new generation. They would still have you believe that to this day. They're still trying to be like, we can bridge social gaps. Yeah. Here, yeah. have a Pepsi. Mm-hmm. They That's literally their campaign. Not going to yeah. work, Pepsi. Yeah, you know that you can solve riots with Pepsi, oh, sure. right? That's you what can, we yeah. were told oh, this oh, year. Was told. It, oh, that wasn't a Coke? Was that, that was Pepsi. Pepsi. That was oh, Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yep. Pepsi. All right. Yep. No, Pepsi fucks up. Yeah. <laughs> Pepsi fucks some shit up. They're trying. And doesn't too learn hard. seemingly. No, if you're not. <laughs> we just slam Pepsi. Now yeah. we're not going to get sponsored by Fuck anybody. You, Damn it. No, I'm no. drinking a Pepsi product right now. Is it Mountain Dew a Pepsi product? Is it? Yeah, it yeah, is. It is. Really? Yeah. Yep. Baja Blast is my exception. Mm. And once again, back for the summer. See him, but summer beverage. But for the record, Sean's drinking Coke Zero. Hey, Coke. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was say, I, I live off Diet Coke, so please sponsor us. Cherry Coke, Coke's my jam. Coke Zero Sugar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really love this new taste. It's better than Coke Zero. It's Coke Zero Sugar. All, all of our listeners are like, this show has really changed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> for the <laughs> better. There's so many ads in this show. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not needed. <laughs> Nobody's sponsoring it. <laughs> we should have This is sponsor. like the equivalent of yeah you got to turn the label away from the camera yeah uh, hey matt, this unnamed can over here matt myra mentioned volkswagen so much no volvo they, so much on his nerdist podcast they decided to sponsor him because he would not stop talking about well, how awesome that's his volvo the nerdist is, so. there you go. yeah, yeah. yeah, well, yeah, I was yeah. Say, they have, they're already up to this level yeah. someone's like oh sure mm-hmm. we'll do that we the, could- the, the very little risk that's involved sure i mean there's no risk here people yeah, we, <laughs> there's no risk here, Pepsi. Now that you said that, now something's gonna Coke. happen. We're gonna make it. Yeah. Anybody? <laughs> Shiner. <laughs> uh, what PBR? Come on. I was say we could probably get a few out of PBR. I've drank like four, so I mean that's. I mean, I'm all for it. that's usually what I drink on this show is PBR. Yeah, I'm a hipster. Come on, Let's do I'll it. Be your spokesman. Well, don't leave us, listener, because I know that you've Sorry, stuck with us through the product yeah. placement segment of our show, <laughs> which a segment you vote on it. If you like this, we'll do it every week. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's all up to you. <laughs> but uh, so we're going to head shortly to mailbag where it's going to be the, the second most exciting part of our show. We're going to read your mail back oh. to you. No, uh, we're going to read it for everyone else who's but uh, Colin, on the. We can't leave them hanging. Did they get the did they save did, the center? Right. Oh, shit. Did okay. they save the center? That's oh. how unimportant it is. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler, they saved the center. Oh, Colin, oh. back to you. He has, has a classic How sitcom they ending. Save the center? <laughs> Dancing. Well, and <laughs> all, right. all right. You know what? That's See, all I'm with Ali. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, yep, dancing. Yeah, you know what? Dancing it. saved mm-hmm. everything. You knew this from the, be- the moment it started. Yeah. Right. Special yeah. case parents had a change of heart and donated $50,000. Mm-hmm. Of course they did. Daddy saved, saved the, the day. Mm-hmm. Ice tea performs. Thank God. Balloons yeah. are released into the atmosphere. A lot of balloons. That's where all, all their balloons. fucking money went. Mm-hmm. Their goddamn balloon budget. Mm-hmm. They should have saved that money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Camera cranes up. Yeah. Cut to credits. I was kind of hoping it'd be doves. Yeah, there's really so much of John, jobs. John Woo didn't yeah. come around yet. Yeah, that's true. That's a John Woo thing. That's fair. Yeah. That's Bring fair. Back the pastel colored balloons. Oh my god. Left a lot of open questions. Who gets together? Who does what? Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. Things yeah. that'll never. What happened be to the Never. doll? Is the oh doll boy. just back the in the garage? The doll got ripped apart. <laughs> yeah. Did they get a new one though? Like, no. we'll never know. No. Maybe. I know so many unanswered questions. Why uh, was Shabadoo's pants unzipped all the time in all this movie? The time. 
it's the eighties. No, I don't know. That's my was fallback. Was it a fashion choice? I mean, was it a fashion choice? In the eighties, I had my pants unzipped a lot. I was also three. I was, I was like, you, you were a child. child. Yeah. Was this? I'm trying to like. When did the? Because uh, first you start with your pants unzipped, and then sure. you're like ripping holes in them. So sure. I think that the hole ripping came later. Like because we were still in I the area so. of like the parachute pants, yeah, where you have to have the sixteen in fucking army. pockets in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, because yeah. oh my god, that reminds me. There's a part where Lucinda Dickey, like the front of her pants, are it's like just a the big pocket. pocket. On a yeah, hoodie. it's like that, but on her jeans, and she sticks both hands and it goes like that, and that's when I was like, whoa, what just happened? It's like there? she's, like, it's like she's wearing one of those aprons, like yeah. the waist apron, like oh, just, yeah. but yeah. it's just her pants. Just, yeah, just and just you know, her pants. Modern women's pants Old have fashion. pockets that are an inch deep. So oh, I know that I, my mind I know. was a little blown, honestly. I can't even get the tips of my fingers in my so pockets. I just don't get Designers, it when, like, give modern... women pockets. Yes, yeah, please. Give us pockets. They, they want them. For the they love of them. God, we need pockets. I know. Their significant others are tired of holding all their shit. <laughs> yes. Give them pockets, please. Like, yes, we have purses, but sometimes oh, we just sometimes want to use just our want pockets. pockets. But that's but why they don't give us back pockets. They want us to buy purses. I know. Yeah, but then you'd have to bring back baggier pants, then. Uh, so you can the, actually the, the stock this are thing up enough where they can fit the pockets. Dudes, yeah, no. They know. Dude, they know. Dudes aren't always the baggiest, but you guys still have pockets. Yeah, they know. They're like, these bitches aren't going to be able to carry everything because they got to buy a purse. Yep. Give them pockets. So it goes. My athletic pants have more pockets than my regular everyday yeah. pants and I don't understand that. I have this like five is, uh, pockets in my athletic pants. Yeah, right. do you? Yeah, are they you all have zippers. Are they you? women's pants? Yeah, <laughs> they're yeah. here. Yeah, are, are you still with us? They, <laughs> my yoga pants. <laughs> my yoga pants don't have pockets, and no. I hate them. No, they do. don't. I want them. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, that's enough pants talk. Sorry. So. <laughs> Sorry. All right, but as promised, we are going to summon our mailman. Is that his summons? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> is that the sound? Igor! <laughs> masters! Masters, the mail! I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising. Rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Coming to the sound of he's the got horror. a lot of studs on today. Like He's going to start gouging himself with how many studs he's Colin, wearing. He's got the collar on today, mm-hmm. too. We've got an extra long mailbag. Oh, boy. Ooh, Ooh, doggy. Oh, oh. And he's got that flesh pocket on the front of his stomach. Oh. It's like a oh. stop. Oh. It's like Sorry, he's I a marsupial. I never want to hear flesh pocket ever again. <laughs> That no. no, it's like a hoodie pocket. No, don't just stop it. it. No like a king, pockets. like a kangaroo, uh-huh. but it's sideways. You know, the holes are on the side, like a hoodie pocket. Ugh. Wow. Pocket. Uh, no, hey, I didn't make him that way. That's how you Ugh. explain uh, the birds and the bees to your kids with the flesh pocket. Uh, so, MF Mad <laughs> writes in. He says, uh, since we've been taking requests, sure, says, yeah, bring right. it, bring it for your consideration. I'd like you to watch flesh pocket. <laughs> <laughs> He recommends that's, that's the movie <laughs> Freaked Ew. from 1993. Say what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Freaked. Freaked. That Freaked. sounds familiar. I, I think I've seen that. Sure that's seen with Ale- Alex Winter. He was the, uh, he was Ted. He was Bill. He was Bill in Bill and Ted. <laughs> I'm still not sure. And yeah. He he directed a movie. And it's called oh. Freaked. Randy Quaid's in it. Oh, that sounds really familiar. Oh, I'm sold. Yeah, that's Keanu like, Reeves yep. a dog face boy. Okay. That sounds right. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this. This, yeah, no, this is a good one, dude. Right, this is list. a good one. I like it. I'm going to put it down. Thank right. you. Sorry. Uh, Nick Siebel writes in and says, I would love to hear y'all's thoughts on the Cobra Kai series and would like to recommend Karate Kid Part 3, a very underrated and overlooked yeah. film. I myself love the YouTube series. So many amazing callbacks to the original film, yet a new and fresh perspective. Did he say Part 3? Is this overlooked? He yes. recommended it, yeah. I just watched that yesterday, as a matter of fact. My kid got the whole collection. Thank is you. It, I deserve applause. Is four it, the one with Hillary Swank? Yes. yes. That's okay. The okay. Next the new karate, 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 karate kid. Do you think three is a, is would be a good freak show movie? That's what he's saying. Watching it. No, he's asking if uh, we like Cobra Kai. Oh, recommend yeah, 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 yeah. as a freak show movie. Or? It might be. Yeah, actually, just All right. because of the character of Terry Silver in that movie going on the list. It might be. A have good you seen one. Cobra Kai? I have not watched. It. I have I not yet, but I, I am very interested. In it. I do want to start watching it. I do too. I've heard it's really good, and I fucking love Karate Kid. If you I love Karate also Kid, also love it as well. You will yeah. love. You will love Cobra Kai. Oh shit! I gotta watch it. Uh, about breaking two, Karate Warrior Two writes in, and I don't know I don't. if I can do this uh, justice. Let's try it. <clears throat> oh, <no>. Lucinda, <laughs> Lucinda, Dicky. I hope that doesn't sound creepy, and You're if it does, making it, sound I really creepy. don't mind. Hashtag eighties hot. 
All right, Dom. I uh, <laughs> I mean, she looks great in this movie. And I was movies, I, I was think. admiring her arms. Yeah, me too. I was Ooh. like, she's jazzed. Her like, arms. Yeah. Scene, they were yeah. Pretty good. Was, I'm well, also no, she looks Dickie. great. Those arms no, are fantastic. And no matter how ugly they dress her, she still looks good. Yeah. So. yeah thumbs up. Rolling to send it. Yeah. I hate her hair, but gorgeous. <laughs> she she had better like hair in Ninja. Do you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Ninja Three. She had better hair. She had long hair. She looked really good. Yeah. I like the short hair in Lucinda Dickie. She can she can pull off short hair because she's got a very feminine face. She's very pretty. Yeah. I don't. I, I just don't part. like. I just don't like that hairstyle. Yeah, short hair, fine, but just not that style. Yeah, yeah. I'm all for it. Uh, Adam Kaler writes in and says, "I love breaking to electric boogaloo, but what I find most interesting is the concept of break dancing combat. The yes. scene where they take Definitely. on the electro rock under the bridge looks like the precursor to LARPing. The outfits, <laughs> along totally with the trash is. can shields, would work even if you added a warrior, a Valkyrie, a wizard, or an elf." I'd like to see breakdance combat included in some movies like Bloodsport <laughs> or Mortal Kombat and Ozone versus Kano Fight would be awesome. <laughs> wow. Oh my wow. God. I, I, would give, I want all these words to collide. I would donate to any Kickstarter that would allow a character from Breakin <laughs> to be put into one of the new Mortal Kombat games. Oh, like yeah. Yes. <laughs> like a the secret, in there, like a put, secret character? We can start that yeah. right now. Yeah. You unlock I it, would yeah. Give Major money. I would buy a new game system and that game. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody out there, you start the Kickstarter, Please. you tell us, we will donate cash all to in. making yeah. this happen. The, the LARPing observation is incredibly shrimp. accurate. It really like, is. That really yeah. is proto-LARPing. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of the, you ever see the emo kids dancing under the bridge? The oh, video, yeah. That famous video? I, I'm, yeah. I lived it, dude. Well, <laughs> she was dancing yeah. under that bridge. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you danced it as much as they danced it. I they, I mean, that was yeah. me at that time in my life <laughs> when that video was popular. So I was, I was living that subculture, I would say. <laughs> it was something else. Mm. Well, about our last episode where we watched Samurai Cop, the movie guru podcast writes in and says, Samurai Cop, Wolf Cop, Maniac Cop, RoboCop, Time Cop, Kindergarten Cop, Super Cop, and Let's Be Cops. I've seen them all. There's a lot of, yeah. There's a whole. <laughs> Damn, Colin, that was yeah. pretty good. There's a whole cop so, subgenre, isn't there? Uh-huh. Well, there not is. like legit cop movies, like, yeah. you know, what can we pair with cop yeah, movies, right, yeah. you know? Yeah. That wow. got to Let's Be Wolf Cop. Wolf yeah. Cop 2 still isn't out yet, is it? No. no. So. Another Not Wolf yet. Cop? Yeah. No. Not yet. Uh, Johnny New Jersey. Whoa, that's Johnny a new, new Jersey. I like it. He writes in and says, Johnny New Jersey here. I just thought I'd email <laughs> in quickly and accept congratulations and express my apologies for giving you all the gift of Samurai Cop. I was adamant that this should never be reviewed for the show. Now that you've seen it, you can see why. As a new listener, I've worked my way through the catalog, and I feel I share all your movie choices. Colin, I'm right there with you on action movies, Rambo, Chuck Norris, love, love Italian horror films. I've seen the best of the best too many times. I've never been seen that. Holly, Hmm. I can always use more Van Damme Mortal Kombat. Sean. Yes, yes. I'm right there with you on watching sequels that no one has any business watching. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My That's love for tremors and critters are deep. Michaela. Thank you, sir. I totally agree You're with more Summer of Canon. Love the show. As a fellow movie lover, I'm glad I can introduce you all to this film. If I may be, if I may be so bold again, if anyone has any possible choices in the future, you're going to want to check out the movie Miami Connection. It's on the list, bro. Miami, dude. My, I've seen it. Miami yeah. Connection's incredible, and it's, it's yeah. Stay tuned. It will be it's, here. It's on its way, dude. It's on the list, and we will. It, oh, it'll be a ride, man. It's it's gonna be a samurai cop level ride. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be great. Yeah. What was this person's name? This is uh, Johnny New Jersey. Johnny New, Johnny New Jersey. He's the one that recommended thank Samurai you. Cop, yeah. and he's the one oh. who helped me find Sidekicks. Yeah. Uh, Sam- thank you. Thank Johnny you for Jersey. the gift of Samurai he Cop. Is I a, love you. He is a dear friend of the Please freak show. I'm more. still like <laughs> thinking about that movie. Oh, like, yeah. I have not recovered. Yet. I haven't you recovered know, like, either. I'm just it's like, been oh. I kind of want to watch it again. It was oh, an experience. No. Like, it was an experience. Did you have to rent this from somewhere? Yeah. Okay. We I was hoping someone owned this so I could no. buy it. No, okay, we yeah. rented it. I guarantee it. it's never been released on any media. I'm sure it has. <laughs> it's right? no. It is oh, on Blu-ray. Sure, yeah. Is it really? It is on Blu-ray. Some crazy wow. bastards cleaned sure. it all up. No, yep. that's as clean as it gets. We got the best the, version. Yeah, the the, we saw. Um, but, it is, but it is on Blu-ray. Yes. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you for the kind words. That was really nice. Thanks, Johnny. I like when you single us all out. That's yeah, that was that uh, was nice. Like that. That's that was really nice. nice. I loved that. That's never happened before. Nope. 
I don't think so. Not all of us individually like that. Not all at once. Not all of us individually. Like we get messages to individuals, but not all at once. It makes us all feel good, and we all have uh, uh, fragile egos. At least, yeah, we do. So uh, we we appreciate that. We need constant reassurance. Yeah, Yeah. we do. Constant reassurance, and we're very needy podcast. Constant (laughs) reassurance. I'll take the constant reassurance over the sponsors to tell you the truth. I would too. To feed my own self. (laughs) Oh, there you go. Now we fuck the money. We want kind words. Yep. You heard it here first. About our episode on the faculty, Joey Adams writes in and says, great alien movie. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Dom Cree says, guys, <laughs> the class of 1999, a oh, band yeah. consisted of Lane Staley of Alice in Chains. Right. Tom Morello of Rage Against the Machine. <gasps> Tom Morello, like what? Stephen Perkins and Martin Lenoble of Jane's Addiction and Porno for Pyro. Shut yeah. up. We went around the room and said that Lane Staley was not on the soundtrack. Dom saying that we're idiots because we should look. Because we were all like, it sounds just fucking like him. And then whoever looked it up and they're like, nope, no, it wasn't him. I'm going to blame well, Sean. Probably. I mean, Captain I'll, Google. That's fine. Uh, we didn't. I did no research into the soundtrack before we watched that. Yeah. I was like, no, it's Creed. Bias. I mean, we also had Creed. Okay. It could have um, been. I thank you, Dom, for correcting us, and uh, I'm glad that uh, I mean we found out about this. There you go. I, feel, I, I feel like I'm feel a better, better person. I feel better yeah. knowing this, yeah. um, and I appreciate what they did. They were not an they actual band, apparently, no, and apparently they, they all weren't. recorded uh, their stuff solo. That's fine. Yeah. Hmm. But that doesn't surprise God me. God damn it, I I just it. realized that, you're, that since we had so much mail, you printed out on extra long paper. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. That's okay. wonderful. I'm not going to go with two sheets. Oh, no. I did not catch that. Holy shit. Oh, that's, that's why it's folded great. so many times. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. That's great. So, uh, guys, this paper is like a CVS paper. receipt. Oh, my God. It's so Next is. week, if it's. It's going to be a scroll. Uh, probably. <laughs> you cannot unroll it. Oh, my God. <laughs> here he is, here he is. I was so Nail. desperately want Colin to bring a different method of paper every week. <laughs> Igor's going to have to unroll it's it. It's stand there yep. and hold it the whole time. Yes. I created this papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my God. Well, we were also asking uh, on the faculty episode, uh, we said it was a mashup of Invasion of the Body Snatchers and The Thing. And a little bit of Night of the Creeps. And we said, are we missing anything? James Henry says it's a little bit of Stepford Wives. Mm. Well, sure. It is. And You're Andrew, right. And Andrew John says it's a little bit of The Breakfast Club. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. A little bit. Yeah. You get those different <laughs> characters and all that. Yeah. Sure. I won't say no. Well, Karate Warrior 2 says, dear Saturday Night Freak Show. Hi, Don. Please impose a ban on Colin singing until further notice. His, <laughs> his effort with "If I Could Keep Time in a Bottle" reminded me of Jack Black doing Fats Waller in "Be Kind Rewind." <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! That's amazing. Oh. oh my god, was that was that the faculty the faculty, the faculty episode? Okay, oh I was like, god. I was like, I missed that, but I wish I had. Oh no, that was yeah because we were answering the mail about oh, yeah. in time. But did you sing? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he sang Message in a Bottle. <laughs> I thought, oh, all right, because I thought I sang that one. Oh, did you? God. I thought it was me. I know, I did. I thought it, it was just, Colin. Just like, maybe it was a duet. Sean, just let Colin be blamed for it, okay? That's fine. Just, let, yeah. just, just let him have it, yeah. dude. <laughs> and I Brent, sang recently, but Brent Attica later. writes in. Attica! Attica! <laughs> he loves it when you do that. Like, he wrote it and said, he says, uh, just a quick message to say, I really love your show. You're my favorite new podcast, Discovery, and I'm slowly starting to chip away at your vast back catalog. It is vast. I yeah. love that you have such a simple premise, but your chemistry and banter is what elevates it. Also, guys, I was psyched to hear Face Off being brought up on your recent The Faculty episode. Face Off just happens to be a very important film for me and some of my friends. We have a long-ass thread going about Face Off dream casting, and I know that your listeners sent in options for a confusing Face Off cast, but I have already won that question with Tom Hardy and Logan Marshall Green. The most <gasps> yeah, that's, yeah. Totally that's perfect. That's perfect. Didn't we talk that's about good. recently, like, I have horrible face blindness for certain actors? Yes. Okay, so for me, the, my nightmare scenario for that would be Rob Corddry and David Koechner, because I don't know. I cannot <laughs> yeah, tell the difference absolutely. between them. I can't. Absolutely, I, I can't. Like, you don't have to take yes. your face off. You just change clothes. Yeah, That's, exactly. And like, it's to the point where whenever I'm watching TV now, now I try to make a guess, and I'm always wrong. It doesn't yeah. matter how many times I rewatch The Office, I still don't know who that is playing That's Todd Packer. I yeah. don't. I never know. <laughs> yeah, I can't. But okay, who's in Krampus? 
David Koechner. David okay. Koechner. Yeah. yeah. See, David that Koechner. Stick, though. Rod Cordry is stick. in uh, Hot Tub Time Machine, Tom right? And the zombie movie. And Community. He shows up in Community. Okay, he does show up okay. in Community. Okay, that won't help, but. Oh, sure. you know, I'm it's just, I'm never going to know. I'll just never know the difference. <laughs> Ah, that's yeah. very good. Man, mm-hmm. Face Off is a really good movie, mm-hmm. though. Face Off, face uh, off is yeah, a good movie. Yeah, we all agree. Face yeah. Off. Yeah. Yeah. Face Off. Yeah. So, I guess that brings us to the most exciting point. In the, oh, by the way, if you do want to uh, write in, please, oh, do. please do. You can get us on uh, Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> at sat freak show email sat at freak show yahoo.com tweeter is the southern version <laughs> tweeter get on that tweeter get on that tweeter and uh, on instagram saturday night freak show so now we're gonna go around the room and tell you I'm what not gonna lie about. I was so excited about mail I forgot we do wrap ups <laughs> <laughs> so like it's done. over right? we're out oh, we're just, that was go. a really we're long mail back. yeah uh, that yeah. was yeah uh, a great, great <laughs> problem <laughs> to have yeah. alright so we're gonna go around the room and oh, tell fuck. you what we thought of breaking to us tonight yeah now it's like shit we gotta think of what we actually oh, thought yeah, of this yeah. movie like, oh, I have to have thoughts on this we movie we got so yeah. far away from this movie we did now we have to circle back around oh Colin what did you think of Breaking Two Electric Boogaloo? Electric Boogaloo. Um, it's a very colorful movie. There's oh, a very. lot of movement in it. There's a lot of breakdancing <laughs> in it. There's a lot of movement. It turns out that I don't give two shits about breakdancing. It's not and <clears throat> I may be lying. I may be not being true with myself. Because decide it, if you're lying, Colin. Maybe I liked the first one or recommended it. I don't know. But uh, break dancing to me isn't like dancing. I don't know. As I was watching these people when they were actually doing the break dancing, I'm like, what in the fuck is this? It's like it's like you said, you can't tell like if you're being good at it or bad at it because it's just, you know, like making it look like you're breaking a dance in the middle of it. I get it. It was a fad for <laughs> I don't like, know if you do. even the fucking world didn't care about break dancing as we just established the, the, the first one made 56 million and the second one made 15 million. Yep. I think I am with the world on this one. I saw the first break dance movie. That was my only break dance movie. And so it was like that was the break dance movie. And now it's like more of it. You know, like but I didn't bigger, ask for this. Shots. Yeah. Although there's less breakdancing, it feels like to me. And do you say there's more? In I this? think there's more in this. But it seems like it, there's more they just dancing. never stop. Yeah, I it think yeah. Seems yeah. there's like more it never in, this. Stops in this. Yeah, movie. like Sean said, like 10 minutes in, he's like, if it keeps going like this, I'm like, hey, you're going to get exhausted. You're well, going to get exhausted. And I think I did. And the movie just became boring. I get there's a lot of movement and stuff in it, right? Kinetic uh, energy. And it's supposed to be infectious. And the music's, you know, like, man, you can tap your toe to it. I don't remember any of the songs now, and I don't know who any of the artists are, and that could be just my own blindness to, you know, breakdance uh, music, the music employed by breakdance. I don't know what I'm going for here. But uh, <laughs> I, well, that's why I'm like, one of you guys is going to go like, no, it's a genre. It's called this. Um, no. No. Um, we know about movies. That's why we're here. Yeah. Not music. Uh, just fucking it's dance music, dude. Dance music. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't, I wouldn't recommend breaking two. I mean, the plot, you know, is like, it's barely there. And like, yeah, everybody was saying it's a soap opera plot or a sitcom plot. Uh, so basically you're resting on the personalities of the people who are in it, who I like all of them, you know, I mean, I like, you know, they're appealing, uh, uh, people, but, uh, I was trying to think of the personalities. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. It's another P word. Um, they're appealing personalities, but I got enough of it the first time around. Mm-hmm. So I think it was uh, too much of a good thing it is like an unnecessary thing. Although I do think it does have one of the, uh, movies. It's not like the greatest title ever, but it's the most ridiculous. I think of all time, aside yeah. from maybe, uh, what was that movie called? Arg! The things that grew oh, up that yeah, became, yeah. Like incredibly messed up, whatever. It's like sixteen words long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's breaking two. Holly, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did there. Breaking two, Holly, it's on you. Um, uh, electric boogaloo. I am. Um, hmm. Yeah, no. This is this is, this is a lot. This is a movie. It's a lot to take in. It's it's exhausting. Um, we did have a lot of. F- fun laughing at it um but it's it's just it's so goddamn much it's so goddamn much i you know honestly 
I feel like it's I feel like it's the real it's the title. I feel like people only watch this because they need to know what the big fuss is about Electric Boogaloo. I'll tell you what it is. It's the fucking title. That's the fuss. It's not the movie. It has nothing to do with the movie. It's just the fun title. Um if you really like breakdancing movies, then yeah, go ahead and watch it. But it I will I will say I stand by it. The dancing is better in this movie. Because Sean is right, it's weirder in the first one. He's right about that, but it's better in this one, if that does it for you. But it doesn't do it for me. It's not enough. There's no plot. It's kind of, it's too much. It's boring. But, I don't know, I had so much fun. But I just, I think it's because I just had fun with you guys. So I can't honestly say I would recommend this movie to anybody. I think, I think it kind of ruins the title. (laughs) <laughs> once, no. once, <laughs> yeah. once, watch the movie, once you actually it. watch it you're like oh that's electric yeah. like it's kind of sad um <laughs> yeah we had a lot of fun but i can't really recommend it to anybody john it could, it could also be the name of an awesome canon documentary yes yes, so yes that, absolutely which everyone yes. should definitely check out it is yes. an incredible yeah. documentary I think that's it. I think it's. Uh, I think you get the title from this movie, and to go any farther than that is to it's uh, to the detriment of that title. Yep. Um, I had. Uh, I think. Uh, I think I recommended the first one, and I had a lot of fun uh, analyzing that very weird movie. And again, yeah. the dancing in that movie is just so much weirder, and there's so many more close-ups of just like weird hand movements and everything. Like, <laughs> I, and like you said earlier, the small. It was small. It was a smaller movie in the mm-hmm. first one. They've they uh, they had a hit on their hand and they went bigger in the second one. Which, yeah, um, it didn't do it for me. So um, I'm gonna say no to Breaking Two. Um, electric Boogaloo. Mm. Um, you get that title from Breaking it? Two and is Electric Boogaloo. Apparently, it was somewhere. <laughs> at, some, <laughs> at some point, on a trailer, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't, sure I don't, I don't yeah. know where it was, but we didn't have the colon. It was right. just Breaking Two is, is Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like we got that from it, which is I think good enough for this movie, and that's really all you're going to get from this movie. Um, I would just go watch the first one and be happy and be done with that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I know I. I don't recommend this one. It, again, it was fun to watch it with everyone here tonight, but, you know, would I watch it again? No. No. Not at yeah, all. No. I might watch the first one again, but mm-hmm. not this one. Mm-hmm. Woo! Uh, can't do it. So, uh, no to Breaking 2. Electric Boogaloo. Michaela. So, this movie lives a lot better in my memory than it does on screen. Sure. Um, I think I get scenes with the first and second one kind of mixed up sometimes because, like, I mean, they came out the same year. They're, I mean, yeah. but one is definitely better than the other. That's it, it's weird because when I think back to my first memories of this movie, I don't remember the first one being so much better than the second one. But yeah, this I, I think in like a midnight movie, situ- it's like Samurai Cop in a midnight yeah. movie situation. Definitely go see it. Like if your local theater's doing a midnight screening of this, go because you'll have a lot mm-hmm. of fun. Otherwise, don't don't watch it at home alone by no. yourself. No, 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 no. Don't you know? Some g- movies just are an experience that you right. have to have, like a communal experience. Yes, yeah. exactly. And um, I if you, I would say go YouTube the like hospital scene <laughs> because that's like probably the <laughs> that's funnest the, part of the movie. That's the weird shit. Like the first one was weird shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 But starting like, with the girlfriend coming out of the closet. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. But you have to like do so much like work to get to that scene in the movie that it's not yeah. worth going through the movie mm-hmm. to get to that. Um, it's just like it's weird because the first one had like a grounded like grittiness to it that this one doesn't have, mm-hmm. which is weird to think about when you think about the first one. But like this <laughs> yeah. one has the just grounded grittiness. Yeah, but one, it yeah. really does in comparison because this in is like yeah. this feels like it's got that same kind of production sense and that like fakeness as like High School Musical type thing. You know, it feels yeah. like it feels very flat and very much like a play that is be- being filmed. You know, yeah. Um, so I I would not recommend it. I would go watch the first one. The first one is awesome. Uh, definitely watch the documentary too. The documentary is incredible. Um, and I mean, there's a fucking million other breakdancing movies that just came out in this year alone. If you're really yeah. that curious. But yeah, no, I would not recommend Break Into Electric Boogaloo, which is unfortunate because the title is so good. But <laughs> how many copies of this movie do you own? Uh, well, I don't, we got on the table here. I have the DVDs <laughs> of the first and second, <laughs> and I have the Show Factory Blu-ray of both of them. So as the don't yeah. watch it on your own, and you shouldn't watch it 
But I have uh, two copies. But yeah. I have all the copies. Hey, I, when I bought the DVDs, the Blu-ray did not exist yet. So, <laughs> oh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, so be sure to check out Lombada, the uh, Forbidden, Forbidden Dance. Dance. Those are the two rivals. <laughs> oh, those are the two movies. It's Lombada and then the Forbidden and Dance. Because after, I mean, if you watch the documentary, you'll hear the story. But after, um, Cannon couldn't let it go. Yeah, after <laughs> after Menachem, uh, Golan, and Yorn Globus split up from their filmmaking, they made competing Lombada movies. So, right. like you do, they came out the same weekend. I think so they actually ended up sure, splitting their profits do. because people were like I want to go see that Lombada movie and there was two in the theater at the time yes, so. the, <laughs> these guys have their fingers <laughs> on the pulse sometimes of the cultural zeitgeist <laughs> <laughs> oh, the zeitgeist is dead. <laughs> oh, it was by the time that came out. Yeah. Lombada. Oh, yeah, the next big thing. Lomba, yeah, Lomba, well, they'd Lombada. have Lombada rapping and breaking. Yep. I mean, like, they were yep. right there on the cutting edge. And Crush Groove, <laughs> yeah. which we haven't determined what the hell that is. Some, no, we haven't. Some things can't be brought to life with dance, yep. unlike yeah. in you this movie. You can try, though. You can try. You can you always can. try. Hmm. So it's that, a good message, uh, Sean. Yeah, yes, you can always try. <laughs> you can always try. I, I, yes. always try. I feel like that's kind of like the logline for canon films in general. Well, you can you always, always try. try. That is on a wall. You, walk in and you see the secretary behind her is like, you can always try. try. What was the uh, tagline for Breaking 2? Uh, oh, yes. Okay, yes. It's actually, it's actually yes. really good, guys. If it's you can't bad. beat the system, break it. Break it. Boom. Mic drop. Boom. Spray can, Spray can drop. drop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that brings us to the end of the Breaking Two episode, the sequel. We've reached there, the the, the that moment. So next week, <laughs> <laughs> we're dead. We're done. <laughs> next week, we'll be watching a movie that's chosen by Colin. Colin, what are we watching next week? All right, well, I'm only doing this to you because I bought Uh-oh. a Blu-ray. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Colin, what are you doing? Well, I bought a Blu-ray a that I had buy? to get God from... Damn no, it. no, 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 no. Okay. Like, I wanted it, and it's available here in the States, but it came out, and it's like $124 or some kind of crazy shit. But then over in the UK, they put it out, and it was like 15 bucks or something. It was awesome. They were celebrating the 30th anniversary of The Blob. Hey. Oh, have any of you seen this movie? Not that, not version. that one. I've the seen the original one. The Kevin Dillon. The Kevin Dillon one. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah. Okay. I right. have not seen it. Yeah. Oh, you haven't? I've not seen that one. This no. Actually, no, I've seen the like original. I've seen one. the original. Yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed. This one goes over well. We'll oh, find out next Kevin week. Yeah. You stick with this listener and find out when we watch the Blob. 30th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> the official saying. <laughs> the blob. The blob. The blob. Uh, it sounds like Blake. It does. Blobby. It does. It's, no, it's perfect. perfect. It's perfect. I mean, we got to do that whenever we talk about it. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, the basement is going dark. You singing the end of us? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say about singing, Colin? Oh, Don't shit. Don't do it. Back it off.